And welcome again to one more episode in the kitchen with Chef Gio. Today we're going all the way down to Valencia in Spain where we're gonna make a delicious paella. Paella was originated, originally created in the field back in the days in the field where farmers and workers used to get to gather together whatever was available in their time. And they used to make a delicious paella with all the friends and families. So welcome to the kitchen with Chef Gio. And today we're going all the way to Valencia. Hey guys, so we're back here. So now for the ingredients, I just want you to, I want to explain to you something. The paella valenciana has multiple ingredients. I don't eat all the ingredients. I don't eat shellfish, I don't eat, uh, you know, seafood, certain, I'm allergic to those. So I'm gonna show you the ingredients that I have here. We have merguez. You can use chorizo if you want. I use merguez for certain reasons. We have the chicken here. Chicken, we're gonna slice it into two. We have two pieces. Add the merguez, we're gonna slice them sideways. Sideways, okay? Then we have red bell pepper, we have green scallions, we have a bunch of parsley. You have to find an amazing, amazing saffron. This is one of the most important things to have in the paella. Uh, smoked paprika, pimenton. We have a broth, or magic broth. It's gonna bring all the stuff together. Two onions, we have our white wine. We have four cups. This recipe has four cups of uh, rice. We have green peas and four cloves of garlic. So we're gonna combine all these things together. We're gonna first saute the merguez or chorizo, whatever you're gonna be using. And then we take them out and you'll understand through the process, okay? So we're gonna grab the merguez. As I said before, I'm gonna cut them sideways, okay? Take the time, a little bit faster. Three at a time. Okay, put all, all, all our merguez or chorizo, whatever you're using, sausage, on the side. And we take the chicken, take a little bit of that extra that he has. And we're gonna cut this right in the middle. Okay, you want two pieces of chicken from each piece. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest and we'll show you the process. Now the first thing you wanna do is that you wanna boil your broth. Okay, first you're gonna boil your broth and we're gonna put one, one onion right in there. We're gonna take the saffron, all the saffron, so that will become the juice all over the place. We'll make their, our smoked paprika. Mix that up, and it should become a very, very rich broth. Okay, let that sit, let the onion cook, get some flavor, and we'll come back. Now, while our broth is being combined in all the flavors, we'll take our chicken, season salt and pepper, and we're gonna brown this. You want to make sure that everything that gets nice and toasted at the bottom. Uh, and if you have a pan where the chicken will kind of stick to the pan a little bit, that'll be great. Don't worry about that because the wine will come and remove all that to bring that up to make the sauce. And now that we have all our chicken, it's nice and melty and, 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 and roasted, I'm going to put it out. Whatever is in there, take it all out, and then we're gonna bring our marquette. 
a nice one. I'm gonna put that right in there. All right. And make sure you're really, really brown and all that. All that flavor getting together. It's like friends gathering together and becoming a beautiful dish. And now we have all all our the margues. We will leave it into the pan. You take the onion that you chopped before, put it in there, take the little pepper, add some flavor and color, and the garlic. Nice, thinly chopped. And we're gonna mix all those flavors together. There you go, and we're gonna add the rice. that up. Mix it well. All kinds of rice you can use like this, but make sure you use the good one. And here we go. We have everything that just has come along. Now we're going to grab our wine right in there. That up. Moving everything, make sure that all the bottom comes up. See? The bottom is getting cleaned up, so the wine has brought all those flavors together. And now we're gonna add some color into the pan first. Italians. and our parsley and we're gonna mix all that up a little bit and then we'll grab our two leaves, bay leaves put it in there the magic last touch, take our broth, make sure it's nicely mixed, and we're gonna put that baby inside. Now that we have all the chicken simmered right inside, we let it sit down for another 10 minutes, to make sure that all the flavors get combined, and then we be ready to go into the oven for a 325 for another 25 minutes. Once you have our paella ready, you want to make sure you have someone strong to help you. And we're gonna put that baby right into the oven. Ooh. And we'll come back later on. And we're back here now. We're gonna go check if our paella is ready. Oh la 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 la. Beautiful paella we have here. Look at this. Everything is nice, beautifully cooked. And now we have to try. Chef Joe has to try everything. I'm gonna be, this is the end of Spain, guys. We're ending with a nice paella, Valenciana by Chef Gio. I'm gonna try this right now. Rich flavor, delicious, delicioso. Hope you enjoyed the video. Next week we're going to France. Please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching my video. Let me into your homes. Paya Valenciana. I hope you make it. Enjoy. I want to see comments below. Mmm, a nice paya with good company and a glass of wine. <laughs>